נספר פה על הקיץ שהולך ונעלם. בוקר טוב, everybody. It's me. בוקר טוב, ג'ונתן. Oh, hi, oh, hi, hi. בוקר טוב. It's me, Mr. E. בוקר טוב. I'm in a classroom. Woohoo! That's right. Back at school, sixth grade this week. Welcome to Tefillah. So still a little different, but I feel so much better being in the safe environment of my home here at Brandeis Marin. And it reminds me of a story that connects very closely to our uh, Kavanah today. So if you recall, just a few weeks ago, my buddy Casey was here talking about how we pray for rain. And then last week, we reminded us that we were just about to pray for rain. I hope you all did, and you should keep doing it. Just because it hasn't fallen yet doesn't mean it won't. It will. But this is the week where we start to think about, hey, we just started the whole year over again. We just started the whole Torah over again. We're in the middle of all these crazy cycles. And hey, where's that rain? And don't we pray for it too, like on a regular basis? We don't just pick one day. That's right. In fact, we pray for rain at least three times a day, if you pray three times a day, of course. And that happens in the middle of the Amidah prayer. Amidah, that sounds familiar, Mr. E. I have to pretend there's class in here. Um, yes, it does sound familiar. Because when we did the Amidah, or the Shemona Esrei, the sort of central prayer, where we pray to our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, and Rivka, and Rachel, and Leah. And you know that we, of course, in the middle of that, after this season, after we've started the Torah all over again, after we've had that big day of prayer for rain, we add a line to that prayer. Mashiv haruach umarida gashem. We pray for the rain, who makes the wind and the rain come. So therefore, today we're going to add that prayer. Now, since we've been in this social distance to feel the world, we have not really done the Amidah. It's a longer prayer and tends to take a little more focus. But our wonderful eighth grade leaders today, led by Izzy Stavsky, are going to help us through the Amidah and remind us what it is, and then we're going to add that line. Now, I said I was going to tell you a story, so I'll make it relatively quick. So there was this guy long time ago in the Kingdom of Israel, and his name was Choni. Honi Hama Agel. His job, he was also known as Honi the Circle Maker. Now you might be wondering, is that a job, a circle maker? I mean, all the math teachers I know, Mr. Yanish and Ms. Freeman are like, protractor, hello? Yeah, you could easily make a circle now. But back then you really needed an expert. So Honi Hama Agel, he was an expert at drawing circles. So this particular year, there was a drought. Now, we all here in California know how important it is to pay attention to drought and how important it is to have rain. So it was supposed to be raining. In fact, I'd say it was about a week after Hoshana Rabbah when we were praying for rain. So it was right around now. And they're like, where's that rain? So they ran to Honi and they said, Honi, 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 you've got to do something. And he said, why don't you guys like bring in all your like summer gear? That'll help. It'll just like bring in the tables and the barbecue. Just bring that stuff in. And then God will kind of get the picture. So they did that and nothing, still no rain. They run to him, Honi, Honi, what do we do? I think this is a job for a circle. Well, of course, he's the right guy. So he draws a circle and inside it, he stands. And he says, myself, just like the rest of you, we are all in God's home. And this circle is our home. And inside this home, just like here at Brandeis Marin, I'm going to pray extra hard for the rain. So he looks up and he says, God, where's the rain? Could you please make it rain? A drizzle starts to come. All the village people are like, this is amazing. Look, drizzle. Coney, standing in his circle, is like, God, I said rain, not drizzle. Imagine like a sixth grader do that. No offense, guys. Ah, oh, right? So then it starts to come down harder. In fact, like really hard, too hard. Everyone's like, oh my God, there's a lot of rain, but we really need this. This is, you know, Jews trying to figure out if they should complain or not. And Honey's like, no, God, 
I said rain, not a torrential storm. So it slows down to a nice regular rain until he tells it to stop. So it stops. Everyone's looking around like, this guy just made the rain go, but we feel really uncomfortable right now. The tone was a little strange, Pony. What's with you and the chutzpah yelling at God about rain? Well, it turns out that Honey was let slide this time because the rain was so necessary and his job was so important that God actually let his tone slide a little bit. Normally, we wouldn't be like, hey, God, bro, make it rain. But that's kind of what he did. So that's Honey. Crazy thing about Honey and I, just a really small part because I'm looking at Marav S's like, mm -hmm. um, very quickly. This guy is also the Jewish Rip Van Winkle. What do you mean Rip Van Winkle? Who's that? Well, a funny thing happens to him just a little bit after this. He's walking down the road and he sees a little girl and she's planting this tiny little tree. It's a carob tree. Now carob, for all of you who don't know, is a chocolate substitute that parents in the 70s gave to their children, especially if they were living in Berkeley where everything was carob. I never want to see it again. But regardless of that, she was planting this carob tree, but there was no fruit on it. And so Honey says to this little girl, wait a minute, how come there's no fruit? He said, well, this is not for me. I'm gonna plant this, and then in generations, my grandchildren are eat, this, eat it. Because you see that tree over there? My grandfather planted that, I'm gonna go over there and have a snack. So Honey's like, this is strange. Goes and takes a nap. It's not a nap, it's a 70 year sleep. And he wakes up, and first of all, I want you to all imagine if you had been asleep for 70 years and just woke up now, that would be weird. But regardless, he wakes up 70 years later and he sees this little girl who looks a lot like the little girl who was in front of the tree before. And he says, hey, are you the little girl that was just here? Because that doesn't look like the tree you planted. It's much bigger. And she says, no, that was my grandfather, my grandmother. My grandmother planted this tree. And now I'm gonna plant one for my grandchild. Why do I tell you this story? A, because it's about Honey. B, he's a circle maker. So for all those future circle makers out there. But C, we need rain. We want rain. We kind of really need it right now. And sometimes we want to rush it and say, please give us everything we need right now, right now. But everything happens in its time. Everything happens when it's supposed to happen. And so, we may not see the fruits of all of our work right now. We may not see the fruits of what the rain brings, but if we are patient and if we have faith and if we know that future generations will get something from that, then the work that we put in feels all the more special. So this week, we're praying for rain, guys. We may not get it this week. The ground may not start growing next week, but trust me, in the future, it will be good. Here's to Tequila. Please join me in singing Mode Ami. Please join me in Matavu.
about rain there are so many songs about rain so many cultures that do dances and songs about rain because it's really important to everyone it's what sustains us in life it grows our food it gives us water um, so we really need rain and it's really really important and so there's so many cultures and I want to share a song from one culture about rain which is this is from Zimbabwe and the song is called Yaven Guga Yezi Ja. Now you don't have to learn those words. Don't worry. Your job is going to be, it's sort of like a call and response, and you're going to say the part that goes, Tiko Way. Try that. Say, Tiko Way. And go, Tiko Way. Yes, that's your job. And then there's a second half where the song asks, when, when is the rainy season? And then it's going to list the months. And in that place, it's January, February, March, and April. So you'll hear the words for that in their language. And you're going to do these shapes. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Can you try that again? So make like a kind of L. We're making a parts of a square. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so the song says, it's the rainy season. And teak away means reap, which is like, yes, we're going to get the benefits of the rain. So teak away is your part. And then when we're saying the months, you're doing this. If you forget what to do, you're about to see a video with a bunch of me's. Follow the one that's wearing the Brandeis Marin hat that's in the center. That's your part. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> Join in Hallelujah.
together we join in singing the Shema. Chant the Vea Hafta. Vea Hafta et Adonai Lohecha, Vecholavacha, Uvechon Afshecha, Uvechon Meotecha, Veha you, Hadvarim Haela, Asher Anuchi, Mitzavcha, Hayom Alivavecha, Veshinan Tam Livanecha, Vidibata Bum. Beshiv techa, bave techa, uvlech techa, ava derech, uv shoch becha, uv kumecha, ukshartan leot, alya decha, veha yuleto tafot, bene necha, uchtab tam, al mezuzot betecha, uvi sharecha. And now we go into the song of freedom for our people of the Michamucha. which is a central prayer for morning service. Um, we haven't sang Amidah together as a community since we first went into shelter in place. At the end of Sukkot, we start praying for rain and add a special line to Amidah, which is Mashiv Ruach or Reh Hagashem, to make sure to um, pay attention for that line. Amidah directly translates to stand up, so if you all please join me in rising. Um, and if you have your brand icy door, turn to page 56, and the words will be on the screen in Hebrew, English, and translation. Adonai safat hadiv tachilfi agitei latecha. O Lord, open up my lips and my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu v'elohei avotinu v'imotinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rivka, Rav Lehoshiach, Mashiv Haruach Umarid Hagashem, Mechachel Chaim Bechaisek, Mechayim Eitim Berachabim, 
Tomech noflim verafach olim, Umatir asirim, Umechayam emunato, Mishanay afar, Micha mocha bagaburot, Umido my love, Malach me meet in Mechaya, Umat me a keshua, Benemon at Together we join in singing Jose Shalom. Say shalom bim roma fuya So today we're talking about Geshem. Geshem. Here is the word for Geshem in Hebrew. And interestingly, Gashmi means something that is world, world, worldly, worldly, like from the world, something physical, the opposite of spiritual. And that is interesting the connection between Geshem and our physical existence in here and how, right, we cannot exist without, without Geshem. In Israel, as somebody here said, Geshem is, a, is something that you always have to pray for and hope for. It's not, it's not something that we have in abundance, just like in California. So for that reason, maybe, there are so many words to say Geshem. There's a Geshem Bracha, there's Geshem Zalafot, there's um, Matar, there's Tal, there's Yore, which is the name for the first rain. There's even a name for the last rain of the year, Malkosh. I mean, we have so many words for that, you'd think we're going to have a lot of rain. But we're, we're hoping, and we will. Now, I want to share with you three things. This is another word for Geshem in Hebrew, and it's called Matal. Like we said, uh, like Izzy said so beautifully uh, in Tefillah, um, mentioned it. Then another word that is related to Matal is Mitriya, right? Matal, Mitriya, to protect you from the rain. And then the last word is mantera, sprinkler that spreads wa water. So here you can see really the, the way that the Hebrew system works, right? The connection all around those 
three letters, mem, tet, resh, all related to Geshem, to rain. We even have a dance in a song called So vi so vi mam tera. Maybe we should sing and dance this today so that we can get the rain. Last but not least. This is Maim, looking like clouds, right? This is also Maim. This is the Maim that represents C. Now, in Hebrew, the word, shama, the word for sky that separates Maim above from the water below is made of two words, Sham, which means there, Maim. Look, sham mine, water above, water there, and water here. So like the shamaim separates the mine from the top, from above, and the water below. Hey, Marav, isn't that from this week's Torah portion? From creation? Oh my gosh, it totally is, yes. Oh my gosh. Wow, another connection. It's the second day of creation, right? Yes. Oh, good. My Jewish, my Jewish studies teacher is going to be so happy I remembered that. Thank you. Thank you, Merav. That's amazing. Together we rise and sing Hatikva. just practicing my circles i'm wondering like maybe circle making will be a nice little like like hobby for me but it's not as easy as i thought it's hard to make a perfect circle sorry i made fun of the math teachers um while we're thinking about this what a beautiful beautiful tefillah today thinking about rain and how badly we need rain and you know we're doing a lot of adjusting this year in case you haven't noticed a lot of like like i mentioned we're in a time of change last week i mentioned that and we're 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 adapting so I want to try to adapt something that I did last year on this very tefillah for the rain tefillah where we all kind of created rain ourselves. We're going to have to do this through Zoom. So there's a couple things. First of all, if you're at home, participate. If you're here in school, you are in a room with other people, which is very exciting, of course. You are going to, as a room, be making these sounds together. Please do not make other sounds in the room or it will drown out the sound. Okay, and um, teachers in your classroom, turn off your mutes. I'll look at, you know what's really weird? Can I just say something? If I was asleep for 70 years and woke up and saw Zoom, I would be so confused. Uh, okay, <laughs> or maybe I'd be like, wow, this isn't so bad. I'm glad I went to sleep. I can see everybody. Um, all right, so is everybody ready? First grade, you ready? You now have the power to unmute yourself. Unmute so you can yourself. unmute First yourself grade, so we can you hear, hear all these rain sounds. Oh. Kindergarten, are you ready? First grade's ready. Yeah. Kindergarten. Yeah. Might take a while. <laughs> Second grade, you can just wave. Second grade. Third grade. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fourth grade, where are you? 
Yeah! yeah. Woo. This might work. <laughs> Fifth grade, right across the hall. Yeah. No. That's I can hear you there. And then sixth grade. Where's my sixth graders? Yeah. And then seventh grade at home. Woo! -hoo. Woo! Yay! Woo! Yeah. And yeah. our eighth grade. Where are you at? Where are you? Wave. Excellent. All right. Here we go. First thing you're gonna do. Quiet, everyone. It's easier than quieting the sanctuary. Okay. You're gonna take your fingernails and you're gonna click them together so they make a little noise. I just cut mine because I'm a good boy. <laughs> Watch my hand. Now do this. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, there we go. Rain falling in 2020, people. Digital style. Love it. If the rain doesn't fall now, I don't know when it will. Thank uh, you. Yes, we're up. I are you done? You're done? I think so. Okay. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And thank you, everybody. I just want to welcome, we have um, three guests here. We have Cynthia, right? And we have Marie. And we have Helene. Welcome. And we love seeing you. And just join, join. Bring your guests. Bring your parents and your families and your um, grandparents. Everyone can join Fila. So welcome. Hope. We really hope that it's going to rain this weekend. Um, <laughs> Shabbat Shalom and thank you so much. Yashar Koach to Izzy Stavsky yes. for reading Amidah. Thank Beautiful. Thank you, Izzy. Thank you, Izzy. Yes, and as you saw today in our tefillah, we had a student video and it even meant that we could have an alum as part of our tefillah. Um, so if you would like to be a part of our tefillah in a, in a more big way, please send us a video of you singing one of these prayers. Mori ani matuavu, hallelujah, barhush ma, mi hamoha, osi shalom, hatifa, any of those. And we will include them in a future tefillah. See you next week. Bye. I don't want to